Hi everybody, I'm your host Azra Phil. Welcome to Kantu Monster House Garage, where we can teach you technical projects you can do from the comfort of your own home. You may have enjoyed our previous programs, uh, Do It Yourself Napalm at Home, and uh, 101 Ways to Use Your Surplus Military Radar. Well, this week, if you've been watching on consummating, you've been following how we've been taking this motorcycle from 16 boxes of individual parts and turning it back into a running bike. We've got it right here, and we're going to start it up right inside the kitchen right now for you viewers at home. Uh, while the motor was lying on its side before it was put in the bike, some of the oil went into two of the combustion chambers and came out the ports. So we've gotten most of the oil out of the engine, but we are concerned that there's probably still a little bit of oil in the combustion chambers, and therefore when we start the bike, it will make a lot of smoke. So with that in mind, we're going to back the bike over to the front door and use our handy dandy fan to blow any smoke out the door. So let's do that now. It's a beautiful day outside. I like the sound of new tires on a tire floor right there. technically minded to do fun and exciting projects at home. Not too much to drive will bring you all kinds of fun and educational things you can do from the company you're at home without blowing anything up. Unless you're not careful. Alright, all put back together. Buy a little choke. Key on. Kill switch. That doesn't sound good. Back after these commercial messages. Okay. And welcome back to Console Monster House Garage. During the break, we troubleshot the problem with the bike, and it turns out that the number one cylinder is hydro locked. What is hydro locked in the U.S.? If you're not a motor vehicle person, you're probably not familiar with this term. When an incompressible fluid, such as water, gasoline, or motor oil, gets into a combustion chamber, when the piston comes up on the compression stroke, it can't compress the fluid, and it stops the engine dead. Now, if the motor turns over fully before it hits that fluid under the compression stroke, uh, it can actually bend connecting rods inside the engine. But we were fortunate that the bike was on the near the top of its compression stroke to start with, so the stutter motor just didn't turn it over at all. We pulled out the spark plug, turned the motor over, puked all the oil out the spark plug hole, wiped it up, and now we should be good to go. So. Let's give her a Still a lot of oil in there.
the entire house up with smoke. How cool is that? I'm going to turn the fan on and point it out the door. Let him go ride the motorcycle out in the yard. Let me take a look and see just what I've done to go to Maker Special. We'll be back after these messages. motorcycle has been with me for eight years. It's been through three motors, now a frame swap. There's very few parts on it that are original anymore. It's been souped up a little over the original. But back in the day, the Sefer 550 was an excellent starter bike, and it can be modified to produce prodigious amounts of power, like I have done with this very one. In one week, we have taken boxes and boxes of parts, and one complete assembled motor, and built a running motorcycle out of it. Tune in next week for another great episode of Kansu Monster House Garage.